Hello everybody, I'm going to rotate the motor this side slowly, bit faster, more faster and stop other side. I'm using L298 module here with Nucleo. Let's get started with this. For the module, these three pins control this motor. And these three pins control this motor. For simplicity, we do only one motor by controlling these three pins. For this motor, in one and in two, if both of them are zero, stop. If this one zero, this one one backward. If it is other way around, it's forward. And we have to give PWM signal to control the speed. Uh, we can set in the cube body like this. The value here, the maximum is the counter period. If the width is more, more speed. If it, the width is less, less speed. The data sheet for L298N is here. When you go to page number 5, minimum, typical and maximum, the frequency is uh, maximum 40 kilohertz, typical 25 kilo, kilohertz. I am using uh, 500 hertz. The wiring diagram is here. Let's zoom in. Remove this jumper and connect in A to D6, in 1 to D5, in 2 to D4 ground to ground here we connect to 7.4 volt that's best it will work with 5 volt also the motor will be a bit slow the motor connection here the polarity doesn't matter the nucleo f446re pinout is here these are the label on the board corresponding to cube pins here we're going to use these three pins pb10 and pb45 corresponding d6 d5 d4 and the ground the wiring connection is here. Let's zoom into Nucleo. And the ground is connected to from here to here. And the motor power supply is for these two wires. I'm going to connect 7.4 volt. And the other side, the motor is here. Now I am in the cube ID. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click file, new. STM32 project. Click board selector and uh, put F446RE. This is the one. Next name I give motor. Finish. Ah uh, yes. Now we can zoom in and uh, we make a pin PB4 GPIO output. Also PB5 GPIO output. Now we see the clock configuration. We change this to maximum 180 megahertz and enter. Now we can see there are two timer clocks. APB1 90 megahertz, APB2 180 megahertz. We're going to see which clock we're going to use for the our timer. We go to data sheet. I will give this one in the description below. Uh, there are timers here. Timer 2, 3, 4 connected to APB1 and uh, timer 1, 8 so on connected to APB2. We are going to use timer 2. So APB1 clock we are going to use. So we go to QBIDE. APB1 is 90 megahertz. So 90 megahertz we are going to use. We remember it. Go to pinout and configuration, click timers, click timer 2, uh, clock source internal clock. Uh, we make channel 3, PWM generation channel 3. So this pin is selected, PB10. So 90 megahertz. So we are going to make um, say 500 hertz. So I first select divide by 890. So 90, 90 minus 1, that is 89. And then I divide by 2000. 2000 minus 1 is 1999. So now we get 500 hertz. So that's all the setting. We can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. Link is in the description below. This one. So when we go below, the cube ID setting is here. We have just done. 
the code is here user code begin to we copy this line only one line we go to user code 2 we paste it here and in the while loop we copy from here until end while loop copy and we paste it in the while loop that's here we paste it that's all the code we can click save and uh, so we start the timer and uh, if you set one pin low one pin high uh, one direction if we set other way around other direction and uh, the pulse width we set it to 1000 and 1500 2000 slowly medium maximum speed and then we set the other direction uh, sorry we stop it by setting two of them to zero and then we swap the um, the pin uh, value this one zero one and one zero so going other direction similarly we set it slow speed medium speed high speed and then we stop it that's all we can upload the code yeah it's uploaded i have uploaded the code it's working like this faster and stop and going other side now slowly be faster more faster for the second motor keep everything as it is for this side and only different is remove this jumper also connect this pin in b to a1 in 4 to a2 in 3 to a3 and connect this motor that's all in the cube id we add the second motor we click the device, device configuration ioc file and uh, we make pa4 gpio output and pb0 also gpio output and we select the timers timer 2 uh, we make channel 2 timer 2 channel 2 pwe generation channel 2 that's all we can click save and in the in my web page we go below the second motor diagram is here and there are additional code in the user code begin to i already have this one we copy this one and uh, we paste it there in the cube ide we paste it here uh, also in the while loop we already have this one and uh, whatever i have in yellow we copy and we paste it there Cop until here we copy and uh, we paste it in the while loop now we can click save now we can upload the code yeah it's done i have uploaded the code it's going this side slowly stop other side thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye